Alright folks, here we are with our next tutorial and this is going to be our Hero Sprite walking animations. So last time we left off we um, created some code that basically allowed us to move on the Y and X axis when we use the arrow keys, like so. And um, since then I increased the size of our sprite so you'll be able to see the animations a little more clearly. And I also slowed down the uh, distance I covered every time I pressed one of these arrow keys so I'll have more time to enjoy these animations before we reach the edge of the stage. Alright, so I went ahead and put some code together to speed this up. And what we're going to do is look at that and why it doesn't work and how we can make it better. So, first off, zoom out. Get rid of our moving and uh, moving code and bring over our animation, so you can see this a little bit better. All right. So what this is is basic animation code. If the up arrow key is pressed, switch to my walking costume. Wait a quarter of a second, which I found is a great time uh, for your delay between the two costumes. Wait a quarter of a second, and then switch to the second walking costume and then basically continue this loop as long as I'm pressing the up arrow. So switch to costume, wait, switch to costume, wait, switch to costume, wait, switch. This is just a loop of animation. So I'm going to press the down arrow, the same thing happens, left arrow or right arrow. Down arrow, up arrow, left arrow, right arrow. He's just switching back and forth between two costumes. Now there's a couple of problems or glitches with this animation. Sure, this will do just fine if that's all as far as you want to go. We're going to take it a step further. Notice that when I stop, so I'm pressing up, pressing up, let go. Pressing right, pressing right, let go. Left, 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 let go. Oh, now he's not doing it. There it is. If I just tap or press a direction, every once in a while he'll take this extra shuffle step. Like that. What that is, is Scratch continuing its commands even though you let go of the arrow key. And this is why. Right now it says, if I press the up arrow key, or let's pretend we're Scratch. Scratch, Scratch is saying, if the user presses the up arrow key, then I must switch from the walking costume 1 to walking costume number 2. As soon as they press the up arrow key. not if they press the up arrow key, switch to costume. If they're still pressing the up arrow key, switch to the next costume. So that's what we're going to want to do in a moment, is have Scratch do a double check. And we learned in our last tutorial that the if statement is basically telling Scratch the program to check if something is happening. So what I can do is take this code out for a minute and do, whoa! duplicate this code. Get this out, get this out and duplicate it. Actually no, that's not going to be the easiest way. Let's keep it simple guys. We'll just bring over a new if statement and the second switch should go inside the second if statement. And again that's going to be if the up arrow key is pressed. So if the up arrow key is still being pressed, then switch to the second one. Notice I'm putting this if statement in this walking animation if statement. It's an if within an if. Inception. Alright, so uh, I can go ahead and duplicate that code and use it for the rest of our uh, arrows, rest of our directions. So over here, actually that's not going to be good either. We could do that, it's going to actually cause a little trouble. So we'll just bring an if over and duplicate our arrow code. Arrow script, there you go. Bring an if, duplicate the arrow. Try to keep it simple guys. And girls. Alright, duplicates are done. We've got a double check now. So. If the user is pressing the up arrow key, I will switch them to the first walk animation. 
If they're still pressing the up arrow key, I will switch them to the second animation. And what this does now is if I tap a direction, then our hero will not do that extra shuffle anymore. See that he comes to a stop, nice and clean like. Now the problem with this is that our hero sprite will do something funny if we press two arrow keys. For example, I'll start down here in the corner. If I press up and right arrow key, go diagonal, he keeps switching back and forth between the front and left walk. It just looks a little silly. So what we did in our game is we decided to make our game left and right dominant. What that means is if we're pressing a diagonal direction that our hero will only face left or right. See that there? So what we can do is just add a simple code that lets Scratch check if you're pressing down or up, make sure that your the user is also not pressing left or right. If you're pressing the down arrow, make sure they're not pressing left or right. And what we're going to say is, if they're not pressing left or right, and you happen to be pressing the up arrow only, or pressing the down arrow only, then you can use this animation. So we need to add, if they're pressing the up arrow and not pressing left or right, so, what we'll do is use this code over here that I've already created to speed up this video. So if they're pressing up and not pressing left or right, we will add this. Actually, let me duplicate this before <clears throat> I put it in there. Boom. And same thing for the down arrow, because remember, we want to be left and right dominated, or dominant. Okay, so now, if you're pressing the up arrow, do this cool animation, but only if they're not pressing left and right. Because if they're pressing left and right, we want them to do this animation. So press the green flag, let's test it out in this corner. If I press up and left, he's left dominated. If I press down and right, right dominated. If I press up and right, right dominated. And left dominated. There you go. Does the regular up and down still work? Yes, it does. So there you have it, folks. Nice, clean walking animation. In our next tutorial, we will show you how to use the standing at rest pose. And this should happen when you let go of the, of the keys. So you're walking, and then you should stand at rest. Right now, he kind of freezes in a walking pose. There you go. Freezes in a walking pose. And that's not how we normally stand, right? Unless you're one of those people who likes to stretch while they're standing still. All right, so stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thanks, guys and girls.